Quarter three was a solid quarter with good growth. Thanks to a lot of hard, dedicated and passionate work from colleagues and business partners around the globe, we increased our net sales by 35% to almost 115 billion sec. We had a good development of both sales of new vehicles and equipment and also in the service business. And together we achieved an adjusted operating margin of 10.3% and a strong operating cash flow as well as a return of capital employed that was above 27%. Activity levels among our customers remain high in most markets. At the same time, we are seeing high inflation rates and an increased uncertainty about the macroeconomic development. We focus therefore on having, number one, good quality in our order books, working closely with our customers. Number two, having high flexibility to adapt to changes in demand that might occur depending on uh, the, the, the future developments. And number three, working proactively to compensate for the increasing costs related to energy, material and supply chain disruptions. We are both working with the, the price realizations, but also of course to mitigate cost activities internally and to make priorities of our activities. In quarter three also, we took several important steps on the journey to more sustainable transport and infrastructure solutions. As the first global truck manufacturer, Volvo Trucks started serious production of heavy electric 44-ton trucks. The FH, the FM, the FMX, a, a real milestone. And Renault Trucks will open in beginning or in October now for pre-orders of heavy electric trucks for regional transport and urban construction. And production will start at the end of next year in Bourg-en-Bresse in France. The ramp up of electric vehicles and machines will also require large volumes of high performing batteries that are produced using fossil free energy. Therefore, we have initiated during the quarter the process to establish a large scale production plant for battery cells in Sweden, complementing also the existing partnerships we have in that field. Working together with our partners, partnership is the new leadership. We aim to lead the transition to a sustainable transport system. And together with customers, colleagues, business partners, suppliers, shaping the world we want to live in.